It's like top six-ish or something like that. You can tell that we've both been really paying attention to the bracket so far. We got oh my SJJ? god, that DI. Yeah. Who? Oh, oh, is he starting it? Okay, that was fast. That was crazy be on so many different ways because Kalindi was DIing in super hard and SJJ kept picking up on it. He like that soft on knee. that first knee, Kalindi SDI'd it in like a full SDI input. He, because of that, or did I say Kalindi? Yeah. KJH did. And then uh, SJJ got the rising up air out of it. Yeah. Followed up the entire time. Love that up air follow up on Holden. Looks like SJJ is going to keep the stack, pushing it, getting some good damage. Gets that follow up on the grab. Ooh, nice Ooh, tricky. That, yeah. Like the quick shield drop down from Kalindi. Yeah, and these Doesn't backers. let a free ledge either. Yeah. Got to use these backers to cover that ledge. Is that it? <laughs> you know what? I think the best thing that S2J has done in recent years to clean up his game is he puts himself in positions to react to, like, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it's so subtle the way that he does it. Like, oh, okay, that was a bad example right there. I was going mean, to use correct. that as a perfect. Yeah, <laughs> like, but you could see he got down, right? He could have reacted pretty much everything off of Miss Tech. Wave dash back up, opens us up. Kalindi has been super down in percents. Ooh, single hit off that. Great reaction to the missed tech as well. Damn, real nice job from KJH holding center there, but even a better job by SUJ holding on. Yeah, they're retreating and just being nears. patient. Yeah. We're, we're really intercepting that for yeah. sure. A lot of safe percent coming out. Ooh. I was gonna <laughs> say, I think that was biting him before, but it's still working. Illusion just straight into stage. What a kill. We'll be playing melee in 2030, and people will still not have be good at dealing with illusion. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's the most honest recovery. <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> honest. I was there. KGH sealing it off. He's still an entire stock down. Yeah, he's been keeping it even ever since the first stock. It's just that uh, SUJ went in so hard initially. Yeah, gave super. himself that, that full lead, full first stock lead. Reset. Nice tech on the reset. Do you know how the mechanics behind that? You got a buffer. When you get jab reset? Yeah, but at what point? Oh, Way what? before. That was the windmill. <laughs> I love rising up air falling knee. That's the, the, so the sick. full drift over, yeah. So, yeah, it's but it's at like a certain amount of frames before the jab that you have to buffer I think before it? the jab, you have to already be holding it. Okay. And it's just the control stick, right? It has nothing to do with the C-stick. C-stick's only for ASDI. I don't think the C-stick does stuff there. Gotcha. Nice stall from Kalindi. Getting that ledge. Man, this milk tea is so good. <laughs> we got sponsored by some. It's, <laughs> a, it's like a partnership. It's not a sponsor. Yeah. These low up airs are digging in. And that's SJ's like key signature in the matchup. Oh my gosh. Edge guard. He makes mm. it back. Yeah. I like the spot that uh, KJH chose to up B from right there. It was low enough that SJ couldn't easily drop down and hit him. And he had already committed a full hop at that point. Oh, so Look smart. Look at that wall jump. It, and yeah, that. Recovery from Fox is ambiguous. It's far away. It's safe. Yep. Oh, soft oh, he's gonna He's going to get a chance. All right. Great coverage. Yeah, Johnny not taking any of that. Honestly, if Kalini had been like a little bit lower, it could have been a little bit more ambiguous. SJ holding center. Look at that push out. So aggressive. Oh. Get up the deck. Saved him. A missed shield drop. I know it. Okay, that's the same height right there oh. again. Same height that KJH dips down to up B from. And SJ that, deals with it that time. Yeah, he stayed on the ledge that time. Yeah, the, the immediate adjustment. Last time he wasn't so sure. This time he's got it. Oh, game audio. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> off-putting. Oh, my God. Oh, KJH pushed off for the aerial. He's still cornered. He tries to fight his way in with that up smash. He's going to take a lot of damage for that. Oh! Dude, you're oh, oh wow NTSC that was shocking. Uh, Johnny, right. good coverage. Takes it for that. I was about to say, damned if you do, damned if you don't on that di off of the uh, the knee. The knee, yeah. Oh, he teched it. Oh, KJH. That was got, three techs. Yeah. Two? Got the wall jump on that that last one though. He probably wouldn't have wanted it because he went for the immediate side B. Yeah. And with the wall, Johnny covered wall everything. Jump, put him a little too high. Oh, uh, that knee on the miss tech. Corner and Kalindi. Oh, 
And this is it. <laughs> this is it. That low back air rising from the platform or at the ed edge. Very nice. And uh, what I was trying to get at earlier is that Johnny's style is definitely platform into falling up airs or any type of aerial mix up. He loves to transform uh, his heights. Right. So this, I think, is actually a great counter pick against Johnny. One of his strengths is like tech chasing off of these up airs. Let's see how KJH tries to find some like up tilts or some up throws. Oh. I'm looking to see if KJH is going to have a better time getting out of the corner because SUJ has been doing so good at, at pressuring him once he gets him in that corner. Look at that. Even what off the ledge dash. Stomp. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god. He's ready again. That's a knee. KGH. He eyes it in. Getting grabbed three times on tech in place. That does mental damage to you. Again, here's with the corner. Super cornered already. Right away from invincibility. Look at this. This entire time he's been stuck in the corner. He's the one at 12%. And yet, SUJ is the one pressuring him. Oh, he got his double jump, but he falls straight to ledge. Oh, KJ losing that pressure. Ooh, a partial jab. <laughs> <Let's go bloody. laughs> and it switches. KJH fighting his way in the middle. That illusion, man. Is he panicking or is it just good? Oh, man. Okay. Connie's like spacing has just been so good. Cool, cool. He'll live it. No, no, no. He needed to keep going. Uh, it's hard, man. Yeah, he's got him at time. When you're that far off the stage as Falcon. Oh, wow. That's soft hit. Great shorten. All right. That F tilt, surprising him. That was so good. Yeah, it guards the block, uh, the grab. The, I mean, it was so smart that he went for it too because of the percentage that KGH was at. He knew you'd knock down, right? So going for such a, a, a low risk option like that, when you know it'll immediately break you out of the corner with the knockdown. Yeah, very low commit. Not everyone throws out these moves that Johnny does. He loves just oh, scuffling. Caught his jump. Oh. <laughs> Johnny's playing out of his mind. Oh my god, KGH. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the way he gets these follow-ups. It's not always like uh It's it's always like a step. A, he's like, he, I don't know how to put it. He's improv man. He's knocking him down. He's kind running of, around. But he puts himself in a position where it's easy for him to improv, right? Like he does a lot of these full hops where he can then react. Okay, that was oh crazy. Oh my god, did he just dash back out of Falcon Kick? Uh Clint, he has nowhere tilt. to go. Yeah. Two stock lead. Oh, <laughs> what a grab on the aerial. KJH looking lost. Oh, oh that short one was that amazing. Was that was actually so good. All right. Ledge dashing through. But he's going to need a lot more than one fancy short to bring this back. Oh, oh, a tech chase read. Dude, Johnny's out of his mind. He's playing so good. It's all that, that film practice, all that film net play. He does play Phil a lot. Yeah. I love watching the Phil stream. That's just a quick smack. Damn. 